Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to another episode of Seb's SMS. I'm sending you a message about visualization. The visualization and the power of the mouth. The combination of them two. Listen to me, that's the message I'm sending you. If you wanna know why, how you can combine them two, and a couple of techniques, listen to me. Stay tuned, that's what we're gonna talk about, listen. I've changed scene again for a reason. Stay tuned. Let's go. Sebastian Baton is now very much the angler fire in my session. Death to head to me. I'm sending a message. Better get it. But when it comes to the football, it's the death to Guys, what's happening, my people? Talk to me. How are you? Saturday morning session. Here we are once again. You know, get used to it. We keep changing scenes. I don't want you to get used to things. You got used to a certain environment for a while. Now, you know, I'm trying to give you more value. But how are you first and foremost? How are you doing? How was your week? <laughs> you know the drill. I really, I'm curious, you know, I'm nosy. I want to know how your life is going. About my one? Cool. You know, okay, I had a big speaking engagement in Paris, for Mboa Paris, for Cameroon, for the diaspora, it was amazing. So I'm very pumped up. At the same time, it was exhausting. So my voice came back because I, I gave it all. I gave my all. So that, that that's how my week went, my weekend, my last weekend. And now my week went all right. You know, I, I had to make the most of the momentum. I had a momentum, you know, I felt good. So I had to make the most of it. What about you? How are you feeling? Don't hesitate to DM me, talk to me. You know, just keep the conversation flowing. So guys, on the back of the last two weeks, we spoke about being patient, God save the king, right? We spoke about living with a sense of urgency. Now I want you to be able to visualize. When you're going to combine patience and sense of urgency, when you know when to do what, you need to visualize. You need to understand the connection between, between the body and the mind. That's, why, that's when visualization comes to place and becomes really handy. There's a lot of things, you know, the connection, there's a lot of things that you can do just with that. And for me, I'm a big advocate of the mind power, the power of the mind. Your body can do anything you want if you set your mind to it. But how are we gonna do? How are we gonna do that? There's a lot of things that have to do with what you're saying, the way you verbalize. Visualization has a lot to do with verbalization. The words that are coming out of your mouth. If you, tell, if you keep telling yourself, you know what, I can't do this, I, I can't do that. That's so negative that your brain, your mind is going to start believing it. So your mind, you're going to produce onto your body the same result. But on the flip side, if you start verbalizing things positive, the law of attraction, the law of attraction, keep talking positive about you. And that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here in that room. That's my Elias do uh, my Elia Elias room, my daughter's room, right? My eldest. She's you know she's getting into <laughs> she's getting into a certain period of her life. She's a teenager. She's turning into a teenager. But from a young age, I've realized something. She always been dreaming. She's always been dreaming. She always been visualizing what she's gonna do. And that's what I want you to do in your life. How does it work? How do I want you to start visiting your vision before the vision visits you? Let me say that again. I want you to visit the vision, the outcome, the end result before that thing happened to you. You know, we talked about being patient. Yes, but you gotta go and see it before. You know why? just for you to be comfortable, just for you to know already the situation, the place. Therefore, when it's gonna happen, you're gonna feel comfortable because you, you'll be familiar to it. I want you to start closing your eyes and talking to yourself. That's the technique. I want you to guide yourself 
onto that journey. I want you to see, visualize how is it going to be step by step. I want you to be able to tell me where you're going to be in five years time. How are you going to get there? How are you going to do that? By visualization. You, that's a process that's going to help you to make your dream come to pass. That's the process going to help you to visit your dream. Whatever you want to achieve, your objective, your goal, before it already happened. Yes, sit down. How? Sometimes that's, that's what's behind me. Look at that. That's a kind of a vision board. That's a vision board. I know, she's a, she's a girl. You can't see everything, but there's a heart. She's an athlete. And she keeps dreaming about becoming a world champion, Olympic champion. No problem. How are you going to do that? You're going to find a place. And that's why, the reason why I'm in her room, because, especially because she's becoming a teenager, she spends a lot of time in her, in her room. She can dream. This is her comfort zone. I need you to find your own comfortable zone, somewhere you're very familiar with, and you, you, you can be yourself. And you can start talking to yourself in order to, okay, to get the feeling that where you're gonna be. When she hanged up all her medals from all her you know, competition, what does that do? That's kind of a vision board and a reward board. You, everything you do has to be hanged somewhere. All your achievements, small step, great distances, all the wins, that's gonna help you to visualize where you're going. Do, do not be so hard. Don't be so hard with yourself. Visualize. You know, all those uh, tickets, oh, I don't even know. All those numbers, the big number. That's all the competition she's done. And she wrote down on them the time she's, she's had. Why? At least she can keep track. And listen to me, I have nothing to do with that. <laughs> I have nothing to do with that. But she can visualize. She needs, and you need to be able to say, okay, this is how it's gonna happen. Talk to yourself step by step for my bowler, action by action for my worker, my student, every single week. Find your milestone and talk yourself through it. Sit yourself down, start breathing, and start to imagine. At the start, it's gonna be blurry a little bit. It's gonna be a little bit blurry. But the more you're gonna do it, the clearer it's gonna become. And the clearer it is, the most comfortable you're gonna be when that situation is gonna happen. So you're gonna do that with a sense of urgency when it happens, because you're not gonna be scared. You're not gonna, I'm sure every one of us have been into that situation when you say to yourself, oh, I've, I've been in that situation before. I've lived it, it's weird. Yes, that's exactly the same feeling that I want you to have about your life, about what you're trying to achieve. Visualize. Visualize, sit yourself down. If you don't have this kind of, you know, like, um, vision board, have a proper vision board. Write yourself. Year by year, every six months, quarter to quarter. I don't even know, semester to semester. Whatever it is, but have a vision board. That's going to help you to see where you add onto your journey. And you're going to be able at every step of the journey to attack it with a sense of urgency. But I will need you at night. You know, her, she's here. She can be dreaming like that, looking at the ceiling and visualize, oh, this is where I'm going to be. This is what, that's what we did. That's what I did. When I was playing football, every goal that I scored from a certain period of my life, every tackle, I had seen that before. I've imagined that before. I could have seen me playing in that stadium. So then you call in it. I want you to call it the power of the mouth. I want you to call what's going to happen because your mouth can be a blessing also a curse. That's why I don't want you to be negative because whatever come out of your mouth might come to pass. That's why we want only positive thing. When you hear people talking to you into your ear, no, negative things, you rebuke it because you don't want that around you. Therefore, in your positivity, affirmation, positive affirmation towards yourself and visualization. You write down your positive affirmation and when you're gonna sit yourself down like a meditation time. Doesn't have to be long to start with. Five minutes. At the start is weird, but then keep doing it. 
And the more you're going to do it, the better you're going to become at it. Visualization. Listen to me. That's the key. That's the message I'm sending you today. So when you get on that green rectangle, what does that represent? Your life and your life only. Take what is yours. I'm telling you, that's yours. Your dream, that's yours. You're going to sit down, that's yours. Go and get it. Take what is yours. Because the power, the strength, the happiness, the, the health, the wealth, the guineros, the, the la plata, the, the family, the smile, love. We don't only take it like that. What are we doing? What are we doing? Let me tell me, what are we doing? We snatch it. You snatch it. That was your homeboy, Seb Basong, aka Baby Bass. Always here to serve you. Listen to me. Take what is yours. Visualize. What, what do you have to lose? Nothing. Even though if it's a little bit weird for you at the start, get to the end of it and you, you see what it does. Take what is yours. Thumbs up, right? Subscribe. Have a tremendous weekend. Enjoy yourself. Visualize what you're going to do next week. Visualize what you're going to do tomorrow. Keep doing it. Keep practicing with together. Loads of love. Bye-bye. Take what is yours. Rah!